Why should you be interested in climate change? After all, you're probably very busy, or perhaps you feel it's not that important. Surely it's down to the government or scientists or business to sort this out. Or maybe you've watched a David Attenborough video and become very concerned about what's happening to our climate and to species all over the world. Or perhaps you've been following the news about big forest fires that have happened in Australia and California and the Arctic, and you're wondering what you can do. Well, of course, you can try to reduce your carbon footprint, but doing that on your own or even with your family can be very hard. What we found from many studies is that it's far more effective and also a lot more fun to work with your friends and neighbours and other local residents to make a real difference. I'm Paul Hannam and I live in Bramber and I've worked in the environmental field for over 25 years. I'm also co-chair of Greening Stenning and I want to tell you about our Countdown to 2030 event next week. Next Tuesday, we want to show you what we're doing and what you can do to really improve our beautiful corner of Sussex. And here are some reasons why you should attend. Now, maybe you are worried about the environmental crisis we're facing. Then you'll discover new projects which we're doing right now to tackle climate change and how you can join them. Maybe you want to make your home more energy efficient. You'll learn about our home and energy projects and how you can save energy and maybe even money too. Maybe you're thinking about buying an electric car. You'll learn from our transport group about our plans to in install more charging points, but also the work we're doing to encourage active transport like walking and cycling and sustainable buses and other ways we can improve our transport. Maybe you're thinking about becoming a vegetarian or eating more organic food or how you can reduce waste in your home. You'll learn about where to buy organic food and how you can reduce waste and improve our recycling and also about our repair cafe from our lifestyle group. Maybe you're a pet owner and you love animals, you love our wildlife. You'll learn about how we're attracting more birds and bees into our gardens, as well as how we're caring for our landscape and for our wildlife from our biodiversity group. Maybe you're feeling stressed or anxious, or you want to boost your mental health. Did you know that walking in nature, gardening and volunteering have been proven to improve your mental and your physical well-being? Maybe you're a gardener. You can learn about rewilding your garden. Maybe you're thinking about a career change or what your children might do when they leave school or college. Did you know that green jobs is going to be one of the biggest growing employment sectors over the next 10 years? Maybe you have children or grandchildren and you'll discover how we can create a better community and world for them to be safe, healthy and happy. Next week's event is called Countdown to 2030. So why is 2030 so important? Well, the IPCC is the international body of leading climate scientists who regularly release reports about the state of our climate and projections for the future. Two years ago, their message was stark. If we want to avert dangerous climate breakdown, we need to cut emissions in half by 2030 and hit net zero by the middle of the century. And our campaign, Greening Stenning, Greening Bramber and Upper Beading is all about what we can do locally to meet these targets to reduce our emissions by half, yet still enjoy a great life. So let me tell you a little bit more about the evening. We have some very special guests. We have Isabella Tree from the Nepa State who will be talking about this incredible rewilding project uh, that she's helping to lead and that she's written about. She'll be talking about her books and also her work uh, to, and campaigns to stop big housing developments which threaten our county. We'll also hear from our local MP, Andrew Griffith, about what the government is doing, about his work to support COP26, the big climate uh, summit later this year, which is the biggest uh, meeting we've ever had in this country, and also about his personal commitment to our local environment. We'll hear from our team leaders like Dawn, Jeff, Ronnie and Alex about what we're doing locally to improve our quality of life. And you'll be hearing from other members of our community, from shop owners, students, 
and local residents. So to join us, please click on the link in the message with this video, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 7.30. Thank you.